Welcome back everybody to another episode of Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. Um, I hear a little bit of hissing noise in the background. It's my AC unit because it's starting to get pretty hot here in town. It's supposed to be in the triple digits. 104 plus Fahrenheit, so I'm going to be running my AC, so you may hear that in the, in the videos. And sorry, but it's just too stinking hot. Um, just a quick update on where I am with the... Uh, this is my second uh, installment on the Buddy Build with Steve Motrum or Motrum. Let me know how to pronounce it, Steve. I'm not sure, uh, but with Steve Buddy Build doing the uh, Panther House D new tool from Tamiya. Um, he approached me and been watching my uh, my channel and wanted to do a buddy build because he had this in his stash and I was all for it. Uh, never done a buddy build. I said this in my first one but I mentioned it again and it looks like it's going to be uh, pretty cool. Um, he has started his. I threw the brakes on mine. I'd gotten uh, some, some work done on it and I threw the brakes on so he could catch up because I was actually flying through it a lot quicker than I thought I would. So uh, I had another project I'm working on which is the BF109 G10 by Revell, relatively new tooling. Working on that. Uh, so I finished some more paint on that one and I'll do a video later on what I'm doing with that, where I am. But anyway, back to the uh, Buddy Bill, the Panther. Um, he's pretty much caught up with me. And uh, I'll change my camera angle here and kind of show you what, uh, where I am so far in my end of the Buddy Bill. Okay, um, I have finished uh, step one, which is uh, suspension parts and the back plate. Uh, I've got all of the wheels, uh, drive, drive sprocket, and idlers. Those are all complete. Um, put on the uh, final drive housings. I have not installed the wheels. Um, as you know from my other videos, I never do that until after I get the lower hole painted and the weathering complete. That way I can get down in, you know, all this detail. Um, you know, get it all filled in without having to worry about working around wheels. Uh, you can't really see what's going on behind there, but that's just the way I like to work. And these do have the poly caps, so they're easy to uh, install. Uh, then um, I've got... That's just the other side of the same deal. Then um, I assembled the jack, assembled the toolboxes, storage uh, boxes, whatever. Got those attached to the back of the um, the hull. The exhaust attached. Um, I, I attached everything. I made myself a notation here to attach the uh, uh, the jack after um, painting and. Uh, just a quick look. The man, these tools have come a long way from the old days. Uh, hopefully, you can see this pretty good. You know what? Let's do this. Make sure you can see it. Whoops. But the uh, detail on these things. shadows but anyway very nice the detail is really good on these things and it's multi parts used to just like you know maybe three parts which would be the uh, the main body the handle and the uh, the part that rests on the um, the jack block but anyway nicely detailed looks good um, then let's see tracks uh, as I mentioned I'm doing the uh, Kaizen tracks so I won't be doing that till later that'll probably be one of the last steps I make so uh, you know skip step seven then got into step eight got all that completed which is the hatches the front um, the vision the vision flap and the machine gun flap or whatever you call it uh, got those done. 
the I haven't installed these yet or these because that's none of those things I'm going to paint later because I want to paint these before they actually get installed underneath here because the hull um, once I put the the sponsons sponson plates once I install those I won't be able to paint these uh, fans easily so I've got those on here and ready to go for paint and uh, so I'll get those painted, then I can start doing some of this other and, and actually install them. But I got the hatches done here. Um, got the, uh, the fan covers on these tools. I'm going to do that separately because I like to paint those after I get the base coat and all that on. Then I'll install that once I start the weathering so that way it's kind of integrated, the weathering is integrated into the, the vehicle itself. Um, so that's pretty much where I am right now, it's step 11. And that's where I stopped so Steve can catch up. So uh, just a quick look at some of the stuff that I've done. You know, here's the, uh, the hatches and as you can see here, uh, they're separate grab handles for the hatches instead of molded on handles like I mentioned in my uh, Sherman build. That's kind of nice. Uh, the vision flap that's been installed. Uh, the periscopes, ventilator cover here, um, the hatch retainers, I guess you'd call them. Uh, those have all been installed. So that's what's done on the upper hull, lower hull suspension and the suspension is really nice I mean it's good detail um, you know I mean you're not, you can't really see that once the wheels are on but you know at least I know it's there and final drives which are very nice uh, the rear plate uh, the brackets for the hatch are on hooks that's all done uh, let's see and then all the wheels and the drive sprockets idlers I like the fact that the idlers are multi-piece affairs very nice good detail crisply molded digging it so that's where I am with the Stephen Brett Panther buddy build um, so Steve I'm sure you'll see this at some point but it looks like we're about even neck and neck thus far uh, I probably won't get this posted till Monday the 20th. Um, that's when it'll show up on YouTube. But uh, anyway, that's where I am. So that's just a quick update on the progress on the Panther Buddy build I'm doing with Steve. And uh, Steve, what you've done so far looks pretty good. So uh, keep it up and we'll get cracking. Um, next time I think I'll talk a little bit about uh, which color scheme, which marking scheme I'll go with. Uh, probably going to do the same as you, just, or, you know, at least, maybe not the same exact number, but, you know, to keep them both like they're in the, in the, in the Kursk battle, uh, same unit kind of thing going on. So, uh, mine will be uh, really similar to yours, okay? So, anyway, that's it for now. That's the update on the, uh, the Panther Buddy build, and stay tuned update again here in a few days once I get some more of the construction done and the way this thing's laid out the construction just goes really quick uh, it's really an easy build um, you know I know I said it's a lot about to me and kits but they just man they just almost fall together um, I, I like this kit it's really it's really fun to build so far very little cleanup and just well molded everything fits together you know just typical so anyway that is it for now as always thanks for watching plastic models by a regular dude and i will catch you guys on the next episode